What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. I want to give you guys an update. Now, it looks like they are trying to set up an IBF eliminator between Showtime Sean Porter and Timothy Desert Storm Bradley. This would be for a chance and an opportunity at Kell Brook's IBF title. And Kell Brook is obviously facing Frankie Gavin, which is a shitty fight. But I like this fight. Porter versus Bradley, great fight. It's a good fight, interesting clash of styles. Before people get too happy... Just, this is the only roadblock. Showtime Sean Porter recently fought a premier boxing champ, i.e. he's a Heyman fighter. And we know Timothy Bradley is with top rank. So, even though they're making Mayweather Pacquiao, there's no guarantee that beyond that fight, those two entities, Al Heyman and Bob Arum and top rank, will work together. Now, hypothetically, if they can get it done, I like this idea and I like what the IBF chairman is doing. Now, to get you guys caught up to speed... What happened is the IBF chairman, Leslie Tucker, he offered Amir Khan, I think, is ranked higher. So they offered Team Khan the fight. And according to Dan Rayfield at ESPN, Team Khan or Amir Khan refused the fight. They said he's not available, turned it down. So they're looking for an, a replacement who, who can fight for IBF. They're trying to see who's the worthy challenger for their belt against Kell Brook and I like this idea no disrespect to Brandon Rios but they're saying if if Kell Brook the winner of that fight with Frankie Gavin gets Brandon Rios that just doesn't make sense to me especially since Brandon Rios in his last couple of fights he has more losses than he has wins he has I believe one win against Mike Alvarado who looked shot and that's no not taking anything away from his win but it just that's honestly what I've seen he wasn't even throwing punches he he looked horrible the week before shadow boxing and stuff like that. So he's, if I'm not mistaken, he has one win in his last three fights. He lost to Alvarado the second time and lost to Pacquiao. So I think there's other good fights for Brandon Rios. Clear up the fight with Diego Chavez. You know what I mean? The weird disqualification and all that. Um, Victor Ortiz, another fight I would like to see. So I'd rather see a different fight for Brandon Rios. And see Kell Brook fight one of these guys. And it's a good backstory. Timothy Bradley, Sean Porter, both former champions. And they both competed at a high level. And for Sean Porter, if he were to beat Timothy Bradley and get the opportunity, this is a shot at redemption, a second chance at the belt in which he lost to Kell Brook. So it'll be interesting to see if he can correct some of the mistakes he made in the first one and come out with a different game plan and a different result. For Timothy Bradley, again, any guy with Pacquiao on his on his resume twice is a usually a quality fighter, and it's like I I want to see big fights from him from now on. You know what I mean? So I think it's a good look for Timothy Bradley to get back into a title shot. You know what I mean? Because I think he's a quality fighter with wins over Marquez, Ruslan Provotnikov. Uh, he has a win over Pacquiao, a loss to Pacquiao. So just a deep resume. It's a good fight. Let me know what you guys think. Porter versus Bradley. Do you like the idea of that? I would definitely tune into that. They just have to hash out the details, what network would host it, Will Heyman and, and Bob Arum work together. But as far as the stylistic clash, it's interesting. Bradley, not so much on the power, but he's um, he has finessed good boxing ability, brawls when he needs to. Sean Porter's a rugged former football player who just comes in to do damage and hit you, and he's a powerful guy. So I'd be anxious to see how Sean Porter looks against a guy who's light on his feet. And I want to see how Timothy Bradley looks against a, a rugged puncher who, who's going to come at you. He's powerful, bigger than you, and, and that kind of thing. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. Mm -hmm.